Yeah, she did Stephanie Mills. She did some stuff with the Isley Brothers mm -hmm. last year. I don't know what she's doing now. Well, I know Tina Marie produces all her own stuff. Yeah, that's but I mean, in terms of people producing other artists, right? You don't, I don't see know much of anybody. It. But I, I'm gonna try to start doing other artists. Mm -hmm. If I find somebody I really, really think is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, so, are you looking for someone now? No, please do not send me any more tapes. <laughs> you know that's what you're getting to. Don't send me you know? any more tapes, cause baby, I got tapes up to Wang Wang. Uh, do you really? Yeah. Wow. So do you, I mean, what do you do with them? I listen to some of them, but some of them are horrible. Yeah. Some of them are like. I can't believe this person sent this tape. Please, you know, I think that if, I think people just think, oh, I'm just going to put my voice on here and I'm just going to send it. But I think you should really concentrate and make sure that your tape is one that somebody would want to listen to and not stop it after the first 16 bars. Mm -hmm. It's very important. I don't think people take the time to, I think they just think they're so bad. Mm -hmm. You know how people think, like, I am bad, baby. <laughs> I am so bad. I mean, I can bad. I'm so bad. I don't even need a real demo. I'm going to put my voice on here. I'm going to throw down. <laughs> and you get it. You be like, eh. <laughs> 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 you be like, no, I didn't. Mm -mm. <laughs> you be like, you should have sent me that tape. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> All in the wrong key. The whole song. Really? The key's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just wrong. <laughs> Why did they send them to you? I mean, is it with hopes that you will... because I'm trying to help myself. <laughs> you know, I mean, I guess, well, they send it to me through my management company, Miss E.J. Jackson, Jackson Jones Management. Are they presenting songs to you? Well, sometimes. That they want they you to do, or they think maybe you can help them Well, they kind of do it artist. like this. They say, these songs are for Vesta. Then they have a little tape, and they, but of course, they sing them. Mm -hmm. And then they say, well, if you don't like the songs, I need a deal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh -huh. then, then you get some tapes that are, are wonderful. And so what happens then? Well, then you try to give them to somebody like Iris Perkins sitting over there mm -hmm. from A&M Records or somebody like Don Eason or mm -hmm. somebody like Al Caffaro. And um, you try to give them to them. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I ain't found nobody bad enough to really give to the president of the record company yet. Oh, really? I mean, I'm going to give them one of my tapes again. <laughs> <laughs> How did you go about getting your deal? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the dreaded. Ooh. Well, um, I, uh, oh, somebody told me my strap fell down. Well, somebody might think that's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you asked me about how did I get my deal. I walked in, I'll make it short, with a, a three-girl group that said they could meet John McClain, that they could get me an introduction with John McClain. And so I thought, ding dong, I can meet this brother and, and give him my tape. Mm -hmm. But they, they were, it was a Vanity Six type thing. That's when Vanity Six was hot and they needed a, a three-girl group. You know how all the record companies said, well, I need one of this type. <coughs> right. Yeah. And so they said, well, we're going to have a, a twist. We're going to have somebody that can really, really sing. Uh -huh. So they came and got me. Mm -hmm. And they had these two svelte beauties, you know, and they, they got me and they said, we're going to trim her down. I said, no, you ain't. <laughs> and so then they, they said, well, let's put her demo tape. We're going to use her demo tape to get us this deal. So they, the two songs I had already written were Once Been Twice Shy and Don't Let Me Down. Mm -hmm. And so we submitted the tape and Don, John was like, yes. He said, well, who did this? Who wrote the song? I did. He said, well, who... Uh, who uh, uh, did the backgrounds? I said, I did. He said, oh, he said, we're going to sign these girls. And I was like all happy. And I waited. They was all like, mm -hmm, we're going to get us some money, honey. We're going to be sitting up here smashed in our draped in diamonds and furs paper. <laughs> and baby, I said, let me raise my little finger. He says, anybody want to say anything? I said, uh-huh, I don't want to be in no group. <laughs> so they shot wow. at my car, baby. They were shooting at that car. <laughs> they they were. Pew, pew. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You went in there as part of this group. They brought you in. And then you went and got the deal and you dismissed them. Said, Goodbye. That's the that's wrong. That's not wrong. Those tramps couldn't sing. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say tramps. Well see that's that's really not meant no, in the true sense of the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, what, okay, that just means, that's just a, a word I use for females mostly, including myself sometimes, you know, uh -huh. we've all been that way once or twice. <laughs> Am I digging a deeper hole? <laughs> just a shoveling. Yeah. Just a shoveling. Okay, skip it. I'm just giving you the room. Yeah, you really are. Why are you doing that to me? Be my friend. Well, I am. I was going to talk about that hat yesterday. <laughs> Come and listen to a story about a man named Chad. The poor man near really get them fed. <laughs> 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 You are terrible. Oh, I love you, you though. <laughs> but I love God. you. I feel like I'm sitting in the kitchen talking to my sister, <laughs> and she cuts an old slack. Oh, she, is she like that? She like she, me? Just like you. 
<laughs> She's from Detroit, huh? Oh, yeah. Serve it. Uh, we better get into a video. <laughs> this is Vesta Williams. Or just Vesta. I'm sorry. You don't no, use your last name Vesta. anymore. No. Just, okay, well, just I want to talk about that. Okay. Get a minute. This is Vesta with special. <laughs> vivacious Vesta with special on Video Soul. She's our guest here. Um, when you pick a song for your first single from an album... Uh-huh. I was thinking <laughs> she was. Because <laughs> said, he said he was going to take his off, but I took mine off. Okay. All right, no problem. I'm comfortable. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you comfortable? Mm, I'm very comfortable. You look very now. comfortable. Uh, when you pick a first single for an album, mm -hmm. is it necessarily, in your opinion, the best song from the album? Is that how you go about picking a first single? Well, that's a strategy that is, is uh, that's a collaborative uh, opinion. I mean, we all mm -hmm. sit down and say, and, and Iris and Don and Al and EJ mm -hmm. and everybody, we all sit down and they say, they decide which one is going to be the best collectively. Mm -hmm. um, it's not necessarily the strongest. It, it's, a, it's an opinion, but I think that we had a strategy with this song, this single, sounded somewhat similar to Sweet Sweet Love. Mm -hmm. And so we decided that it would be better for our 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 base uh, uh, listeners, Fan, yeah. base fans, to be able to recognize who it was immediately. Because, you know, when you've been away, it was two years since my last album. Really? Two years. But, but your voice is so different. I mean, anytime I hear well, anything with you on it. No, seriously. Seriously. I mean, no one else sounds like you. Ooh, Donnie. I'm going to kiss your hand. No, no. Ooh, I got sugar. Ooh, sugar. Ooh, no, girl, you your heart out. You <laughs> think they threw, honey, because she they love you. Even in my Jig Clampett hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You busted me out big time. I can't, you come but on here. I love you. <laughs> you are a wild woman, you know. I, Thank well, you. I know you know that. <laughs> well. Is this really you? I mean, or is it... Yeah, sad to say. <laughs> I mean, you know, I wish I could tell you otherwise, but it's me. Yeah. Yeah. You really do have fun in life, don't you? I try. I mean, it's too short to be boring. Yeah. Well, it seems you might like as well stay in trouble. More. Wait a minute. Come here, honey. Because, honey, Miss Thing is not going to throw no hatchet at me coming out of this door. <laughs> you were already talking about they were shooting at your car. Let me tell okay. you, Pam won't miss. I, okay, I know. <laughs> I know. And have that dog out there chasing me, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, she knows you. She knows you're She's a sick. So yeah, she she just, the girl's just crazy. She's just crazy. <laughs> so uh, are you going to tour this summer? Or yes, later in yes. the fall? I'm trying to get on a tour... Um, how can I say this? No, they're telling me, don't say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'm trying to get on the tour with somebody who um, uh, has had some bad experiences with other females, and so they, they're concerned about taking me, but I want them to know that I'm not a diva on the road. I'm a, I'm a diva when it comes to singing a song that I've been told, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not a problem. Oh, really? So you can take me. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Think about it. Who had a problem with a diva? <laughs> I won't say. I mean, obviously, you they don't want you is. to say. No, no, they don't. Because okay. I want to get that money, honey. Yeah. But I was told <laughs> you turned down uh, a couple of major tours with Freddie Jackson and someone else so that yeah, you I could do it. the uh, Black Family Reunion. Yeah, I turned down some stuff because I, I, I think it's important for us to, to go out and support those who have made it possible for me to have these diamonds and these clothes and, mm -hmm. and to buy the cars that I like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to go out and, uh, and, and just say hi to everybody at the Black Family Reunion situation and go from state to state and, and yeah. just kick it and do my little show and say hi and let everybody know that I love them. Yeah. To Dr. I, Heights. I was told to uh, to mention wild orchid and sex games to you. <gasps> and to, oh. to, give you <laughs> to give you these masks. I have no <gasps> idea why I was told to do this. Oh, who did this to me? <laughs> oh. oh, you know, I never get surprised. I'm reading somebody's to filth. <laughs> <laughs> Are these yours? Are these, uh... Yeah. Play items well, or something. <laughs> this one's mine. Uh huh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. This one's mine, and that one belongs to a man. Ah, I see. And you put them on, you can be whoever you want to be. <laughs> okay. Oh my. <laughs> okay. You don't uh, care see, to go oh, any further with that, obviously. Well, it's kind of a Mardi Gras. It's it's. A, Sex now, let me tell you, I saw a wild orchid. 
You saw Wild Orchid, but then you know about this. <laughs> you, know about <laughs> this. you probably got something wanna... at home yourself, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> 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 don't try to act all mad. So what is this no. about? Hmm. Hey. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm married for 18 years. We don't well, wear got, masks. I'm sure you got the mask at home, then. <laughs> <laughs> You probably got some Ronald Reagan mask and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's about that time, brother. <laughs> you are sick. You are sick. <laughs> you have no right to be this sick. You know that? I don't. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I, I suggest uh, all Vestas fans go out and rent Wild Orchid this weekend and see why she wears these masks. Uh. <laughs> I'm one of the few people who saw that movie. It was awful. Oh, it was fabulous. It was, wasn't that the most sensuous movie you'd ever seen? Come on, Donnie. Well, not Donnie. really. Donnie. <laughs> no, I thought now, it was see, weak. Like, you thought it was weak? I thought it was a terrible well, movie. It was so boring to me. I'd be a so fly on the wall at your house then if you thought that was weak. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> It was just another Ooh, excuse you make me for. Love <laughs> no, but the movie I thought was just another excuse for Mickey Rourke to uh, sex Explain. someone up on a big screen. Well, this is kind of like Which for the nine and a half weeks vibe too. Yeah. Okay. You like that one? I never saw that. I was afraid of that one. <laughs> a little bit much for me. I'm a little conservative, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so now, Donnie. I think that's all a facade now. Now we know the real Donnie. Donnie knows all the sex games, okay. Yeah, right. No wonder Pam is shooting at people and throwing hatchets and stuff. <laughs> I see why. Ooh. Let's, let's get back to your album. Oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> when is it in the store? Yeah. When is it in the record stores? It's in the record stores in seven days. Okay. Seven days? Yeah, seven days. Okay. And um, please go out and buy it, because I need some more diamonds and some new shoes. <laughs> that's the only reason you want him to buy it. No, well, that's, I'm, good? Just, that's, I'm being funny. I'm being funny, but I think it's I think it's my best work, mm -hmm. and I think you're you're getting a more mature and a and a and a. I mean, because I I wrote all the lyrics it, to all the songs except one, which I co-wrote with Tina Clark, mm -hmm. the words. And there's some real romantic, sensuous, uh, loving things I said. You know, and I'm speaking to, to the man I love, and mm -hmm. there's some wonderful things there. The man behind this mask. Yeah. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Where is it, Tonto? <laughs> uh, let's just say Zorro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Vesta, thank you so yes. much for coming today. You have worked my nerves. Okay, you've got me back with Jay Clampett, okay? No, no, no. I think I still owe you. Oh. Well, thank you for I'll get you back me. next time. Oh, no. It'll take me a few months to think of something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but really, good luck with the album. Okay, thank you. And thanks for coming on. You're all, always a, a trip. <laughs> a trip and a pleasure. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go away. I mean, you know, I wish I could tell you otherwise, but it's me. Yeah. Yeah. You really do have fun in life, don't you? I try. I mean, it's too short to be boring. Yeah. Well, you might like as well stay in trouble. Wait a minute. Come here. Because, honey, Miss Thing is not going to throw no hatchet at me coming out of this door. <laughs> you were already talking about they were shooting at your car. Let me tell okay. you, Pam won't miss. I, okay. I know. <laughs> I know. And have that dog out there chasing me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, she knows you. She knows you're She's a sick. Sweetheart. So yeah, she <laughs> knows she's just, the girl's just crazy. She's just crazy. <laughs> so, uh, are you going to tour this summer, or yes, later in yes. the fall? Yes, I'm trying to get on a tour. Um, how can I say that? No, they're telling me don't say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm trying to get on a tour with somebody who um, uh, has had some bad experiences with other females, and so they they're concerned about taking me. But I want them to know that I'm not a diva on the road. I'm a I'm a diva when it comes to singing a song that I've been told, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not a problem. Oh, really? So you can take me. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Think about it. Who had a problem <laughs> with the diva? <laughs>
<laughs> I won't say. I mean, obviously, you they don't want you is. to say. No, no, they don't. Because okay. I want to get that money, honey. Yeah. But I was told <laughs> you turned down uh, a couple of major tours with Freddie Jackson and someone else so that yeah, you could do the uh, Black Family Reunion. Yeah, I turned down some stuff because I, I, I think it's important for us to, to go out and support those who have made it possible for me to have these diamonds and these clothes and, mm -hmm. and to buy the cars that I like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to go out and, uh, and, and just say hi to everybody at the Black Family Reunion situation and go from state to state and, and yeah. just kick it and do my little show and say hi and let everybody know that I love them. Yeah. The Dr. Hype. I was told to, uh, to mention wild orchid and sex games to you. <gasps> and to, oh. to, give you, <laughs> to give you these masks. I have no <gasps> idea why I was told to do this. Oh, who did this to me? <laughs> oh. oh, you know, I never get surprised. I'm reading somebody's to filth. <laughs> <laughs> Are these yours? Are these... uh? Yeah. Play items well, or something. <laughs> this one's mine. Uh huh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. This one's mine, and that one belongs to a man. Ah, I see. And you put them on, and you can be whoever you want to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay. You don't I care see. to go any oh. further with that, obviously. Well, it's kind of a Mardi Gras. It's it's. A, Sex now, let me tell you, I saw a wild orchid. You saw a wild orchid, but then you know about this. <laughs> you know about this. You probably got one at home yourself, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't. Now you try to act all modest. What is this no. about? Hey. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm married for 18 years. We don't well, wear got, masks. I'm sure you got the mask at home, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they don't. Because okay. I want to get that money, honey. Yeah. But I was told you turned down uh, a couple of major tours with Freddie Jackson and someone else so that yeah, you could do the uh, Black Family Reunion. Yeah, I turned down some stuff because I, I, I think it's important for us to, to go out and support those who have made it possible for me to have these diamonds and these clothes and, mm -hmm. and to buy the cars that I like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to go out and, uh, and, and just say hi to everybody at the Black Family Reunion situation and go from state to state and, and yeah. just kick it and do my little show and say hi and let everybody know that I love them. Yeah. The Dr. Hype. I was told to, uh, to mention wild orchid and sex games to you <gasps> and to, oh. to, give you <laughs> to give you these masks. I have no <gasps> idea why I was told to do this. Oh, who did this to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you know, I never get surprised. I'm reading somebody's to filth. <laughs> <laughs> Are these yours? Are these uh, yeah. play items well, or this, something? <laughs> this one's mine. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, this one's mine, and that one belongs to a man. Ah, I see. And you put them on, and you can be whoever you want to be. <laughs> okay. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. You don't I care see. to go any further with that, obviously. Well, it's kind of a Mardi Gras. It's, it's a sex toy. Now, let me tell you, I saw a wild orchid. You saw a wild orchid, but then you know about this. <laughs> you know about no, this. You probably got to live at home yourself, don't you? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't you try to act all modest. Like, what is this no. about? Hey. Yeah, right. Hey, I'm married for 18 years. We don't well, wear got, masks. I'm sure you got the mask at home, man. <laughs> <laughs> you probably got some Ronald Reagan mask at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's about that time, brother. <laughs> You are sick. You are sick. Oh, <laughs> you have no right to be this sick. You know that. I don't. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I, I suggest uh, all Vestas fans go out and rent Wild Orchid this weekend and see why she wears these masks. <laughs> I'm one of the few people who saw that movie. It was awful. Oh, it was fabulous. It was, wasn't that the most sensuous movie you'd ever seen? Come on, Donnie. Well, not Donnie. really. Donnie. <laughs> No, I thought now, it was see, weak. Like, you thought it was weak? I thought it was a terrible well, movie. It was so boring to me. I'd be a fly on the wall at your house then if you thought that was weak. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it was just another Ooh, excuse for... Ooh, you make me nervous, though. <laughs> no, but the movie I thought was just another excuse for Mickey Rourke to uh, sex Explain. someone up on a big screen. Well, this is kind of like Which for is... the nine and a half weeks vibe, too. Yeah, okay. You like that one? I never saw that one. I was afraid of that one. <laughs> a little bit much for me. I'm a little conservative, you see. John McClain. And so I thought, 
ding dong, I can meet this brother and, and give him my tape. Mm -hmm. But they, they were, it was a Vanity Six type thing. That's when Vanity Six was hot and they needed a, a three girl group. You know how all the record companies said, well, I need one of this type. <laughs> right, yeah. And so they said, well, we're going to have a, a twist. We're going to have somebody that can really, really sing. Uh huh. So they came and got me. Mm -hmm. And they had these two svelte beauties, you know, and they, they got me and they said, we're going to trim her down. I said, no, you ain't. <laughs> and so then they, they said, well, let's put her demo tape. We're going to use her demo tape to get us this deal. So they, the two songs I had already written were Once Been, Twice Shy, and Don't Let Me Down. Mm -hmm. And so we submitted the tape, and Don, John was like, yes. He said, well, who, did this? who wrote the song? I did. He said, well, who, uh, who uh, uh, did the backgrounds? I said, I did. He said, oh, he said, we're going to sign these girls. And I was like all happy, and I waited. They was all like, mm -hmm, we gonna get us some money, honey. We gonna be sitting up here smashed and not draped in diamonds and fuzz paper. <laughs> and baby, I said, let me raise my little finger. He says, anybody want to say anything? I said, uh -huh, I don't want to be in no group. <laughs> so they shot wow. at my car, baby. They were shooting at that car. <laughs> <laughs> <way. They> were, <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You went in there as part of this group. They brought you in. And then you went and got the deal and you dismissed them. The goodbye. That's the, that's wrong. That's not wrong. Those tramps couldn't sing. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say tramps. Well, see, that's, that's really not me no, in the true sense of the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, what, okay. That just means, that's just a, a word I use for females mostly, including myself sometimes, you know. Uh -huh. We've all been that way once or twice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Am I digging a deeper hole? <laughs> just a shoveling. Yeah. Just a shoveling. Okay, skip it. I'm just giving you the room. Yeah, you really are. Why are you doing that to me? Who's be my friend? Well, I am. I was going to talk about that hat yesterday. <laughs> Come and listen to a story about a man named Chad. The poor man didn't really get them feet. <laughs> you are terrible. No, I love you, you though. <laughs> but I love God. you. I feel like I'm sitting in the kitchen talking to my sister. <laughs> and she cuts an old slack. Oh, she, is she like that? She like she, me? Just like you. <laughs> She's from Detroit, huh? Oh, yeah. Serve it. Uh, we better get into a video. <laughs> this is Vesta Williams. Or just Vesta. I'm sorry. You don't no, use your last name Vesta. anymore. No. Just, okay, well, just I want to talk about that. Okay. In a minute. This is Vesta with special. <laughs> That's vivacious Vesta with special on Video Soul. She's our guest here. Um, when you pick a song for your first single from an album, uh huh, I'm picking <laughs> <a> shoe off. <laughs>